Hello and good afternoon, you guys. Today it is Monday, February 22nd, 2021. And for this video today, uh, basically you can think of this as a trial run pilot episode of a potential new program here on the channel. I've been giving it a bit of thought lately and what I'm thinking of doing, and I'm going to do it in this video today as a trial run, is I'm going to do a new, pro I'm going to test out with this video today a new potential program on this channel called Rockzilla's Hot Takes, where I talk about something for a maximum period of 15 to 20 minutes at the most, where it's something that is where I try to do the videos shorter than my normal videos and where they're a little bit more very brief and just blunt where I state an opinion I just go okay this is how I feel about this I'm not going to guarantee that I will keep all of these hot takes if I keep doing them after this video at that length but for this one you could probably expect this video to be about 15 to 20 minutes long. Um, my goal with this program is to have something that's a little bit more to the point. Where it's just a brief hot take. I share an opinion. You sit there, you, you sit down wherever you are and you listen to it for about 15 to 20 minutes at the most. Uh, there, there probably will be at least one hot take that I've got that I am very much considering doing here in the next while that probably will be a little bit longer than 15 to 20 minutes but basically the idea is is that maybe I'll do one of these once in a while and it'll, it'll be an extra little program here on the channel to spice things up a little bit I think it actually could be a lot of fun but without further ado I'm gonna do this video and let me know what you think of it when you're done watching it. If you want me to continue doing these, let me know in the comments section below. Right now, I'm actually actually out at the moment. I'm just sitting in my car, and I thought, you know what? Perfect time to pull out my telephone, hit record, and talk, and attempt this video and see if I can gather some feedback from you guys, whether it's, a, whether it's something that's worth pursuing moving forward. So... Without further ado, here is the very first trial run slash pilot episode of Roxilla's Hot Takes. All right, so for this episode today, it has to do with the Boston Bruins. So yesterday I saw the outdoor game, the second outdoor game that was hosted at Lake Tahoe between the Flyers and the Bruins. So I will take a moment to quickly talk about the uniforms and the uniform matchup. Um... Seeing the Flyers with the darker orange and black with their reverse retro, actually, it's growing on me a bit. And I actually think it would be a nice replacement for their current black third. Uh, I think their black third is decent for a third jersey. I like that they kept their Stadium Series uniform around a little bit longer. It's not the worst Stadium Series uniform that I've seen, that's a fact. And, you know... I definitely think it definitely deserved to be kept around and have a bit of staying power. But if the Flyers wanted to make their reverse retro a new third jersey after this season, I wouldn't be against it. But I have to confess, if the Flyers want to do an 80s, 90s style orange jersey and or again and bring that into their wardrobe permanently, I really would like to see the 80s, 90s orange jersey come back instead of a reverse retro based on it. I think wearing that a few times a year would be a real nice bonus. And to be honest, I do prefer the Flyers lighter orange that they use on their main jerseys now. I do think it looks nicer. And I know not everybody agrees, but I like I love the Flyers current uniforms and I hope they never change again. But for those who do prefer the 80s and 90s uniforms, I actually think it's a decent uniform too. And even though it's not as good as the Broad Street bully look that they thankfully went back to about 10 years ago now. Um, I still, I do agree that it would be nice to see them wear it at least a few times a year. So I'd like to see the Flyers do that. 
Now, the darker orange versus the bright golden yellow Bruins jerseys last night was actually a very nice looking jersey matchup. I will. I even want to comment that I thought that the other outdoor matchup between the Nordica Lanch and the Golden Knights, well, I got to make the joke because how often do you get a chance to do that, eh? Uh, that was a pretty decent looking uniform matchup too. I mean, the Golden Knights reverse retro is not my favorite. Uh, I didn't like seeing the Avalanche wearing a Nordiques jersey, but damn, did it look good. The only thing I thought should have been different though, it's not as good as the original. And something else, I think the numbers on the jersey should have been burgundy with blue trim instead of blue with burgundy trim. I think that would have looked much better. But it still was a decent looking uniform nonetheless. And definitely, I do agree with people, it is one of the better reverse retro jerseys for sure. So, I saw that outdoor game last night. It looked very nice, and it's a shame. I hear that the Bruins are only wearing, only brought the reverse retro, or will only wear the reverse retro for that one game which they wore yesterday so i hear they're not wearing the reverse retro at all after yesterday's game which i think is unbelievably disappointing you know even though i did not care for the white on the cuffs of the arms of that jersey you know if they would make the cuffs on the arms of it black i actually think it would be a fabulous new third jersey to replace their heritage inspired third jersey they have now i mean i actually really really like that uniform i think it's a wonderful homage to the bruins uniform history i i like it for that reason and i think it's a decent pleasant looking sweater i it's it's a little bit more on the plain simple side but you know what it looks great in my opinion i, I really do like boston's new third jersey and i think they absolutely nailed it i really do um but, you know, if I would not mind seeing after another season or two Boston putting black on the cuffs of the arms of that reverse retro jersey and making that their new third jersey. I think it's time for them to have a yellow jersey in their wardrobe. It looked great last night. It really did. But the white cuffs, thankfully, they weren't too, they weren't too visible. But if they were black, that jersey would be basically perfect in my view, even though... I would have loved to have seen them take the shoulder patch from their home and away jerseys and put that on the shoulders of this jersey too. That would have been a winner. So here is my main hot, here's the hot take that I want to <clears throat> get into now. Um, and I'll take a sip of this coffee. Mm. Cheers. Um, I think it is time for the Boston Bruins to do what they should not have done in the first place. Bring back the yellow socks with your home uniform. The yellow socks looked fantastic. If the Bruins could get the yellow socks to, for their reverse retro uniform that they wore yesterday in that outdoor game, why the hell can't they start wearing that with their home uniform ASAP? You know, if the Golden Knights can bring out those hideous, shiny gold buckets and wear them with the one uniform, one dark uniform that it looks the most out of place with, their home uniform, which in my opinion is by far and away their best uniform at this point in time. You know, if the Golden Knights can bring out the bright, shiny, ugly golden domes or gold helmets, why can't the Boston Bruins take those yellow socks and start wearing them with their home uniform again right away? I guarantee the majority of hockey fans far and wide, including Bruins fans, would love to see it happen. That is, That was a staple with the Bruins home or dark colored uniform, their main dark jersey. Wearing the black jersey with the black pants and the bright yellow or golden socks that is the best part of the Bruins look in my opinion is their dark black home uniform with the bright yellow socks that is one of the biggest frustrations for me in the Adidas era so far I'm, I'm not I'm not kidding I mean do the Bruins does the Bruins home uniform still look fine with the black socks yeah it does I mean, it's the Bruins. I mean, with the exception of those 2000, late 90s, 2000s era uniforms, the Bruins have 
for the most part, never had bad uniforms. I mean, their current home and away jerseys are awesome. Even though they're, I do prefer the simpler logo of the 70s, the 80s, and the early to mid 1990s, which was the crest on their reverse retro jersey, coincidentally. I do prefer that crest over their current one. I like the simplicity of it a bit more. But I will say this, I do think their current jerseys are really, really great. I, I really like them. I really like them. They look great. But you know, it's time for the Bruins to bring back the yellow socks on their home uniform permanently. That is something that they need to correct. It's a wrong that needs to be written. Or corrected. Yeah, that's the way to... Or, that's a, a wrong that... That's a case of writing a wrong. A big wrong in my books as a hockey fan. You know, the bright yellow socks are a staple for the Bruins' home uniform. Which I know at one point it was their away uniform for decades. And then it became their home uniform in the 3 4 season. I get that. But you know, that's a part of the Bruins look that needs to come back. For sure. And you know, I, I, I don't understand why the Bruins decided to change it in the first place. It's just a stupid case of change for the sake of change. And... It was something they should not have done. Absolutely not. But anyways, as I said at the beginning of the video, and I'm sorry for taking so long to get into the hot take, but because this is the pilot episode, you know, I got to work out how I'm going to do a, for, a better format for this going forward. But also I wanted to do the introduction about what I'm thinking of doing with this new potential new program here on this channel but as I said my goal is to make these videos as something that's a little bit more short and brief than my normal content so on that note once again Boston the Boston Bruins need to bring back the yellow socks with their home uniform permanently the those socks I, the first thing I noticed with the reverse retro uniform was the socks. I kid you not. I looked at the socks. I'm like, man, I miss... The uniform looked great last night, but I looked at those socks and it reminded me of that one beautiful feature on the Bruins home uniform that I've missed since Adidas has taken over. And that's the yellow socks with their black home jersey. And, you know, that reverse retro... I think it's a tweak or two away from becoming a new permanent, a new design that should be a permanent third jersey for the Bruins for a while. It looked terrific. And that matchup looked great too last night. It really did. But anyways, you guys, I did say I'd try to keep this video to a maximum of 15 to 20 minutes at the most. I'm going to keep this video, I'm going to call this video a wrap now so I can accomplish that and actually be a little bit ahead of schedule. So if you've got any comments on how you, on on this video and things I've mentioned in this video and about the Bruins uh, socks, let me know. Did you like this? Did you, would you like me to do more of these? Please let me know in the comment section below, you guys. All of, For all of you, I hope this video was worth your time. I know I had no visuals in this one, but since it's a trial run, I figured what the hell. I'd just record, give it a shot, and see what you guys think of it. But anyways, on that, all of that, well, on that note, you guys, until my next video, take care, and as always, Bye for now.